Good afternoon everybody. Now this is a little bit different for what I usually chat about um, but um, I just wanted to share with you something a little bit about what I'm trying to do for myself and um, this is about um, spending a bit more time looking after me um, and this has really come about with thinking long and hard about you know my aims and goals for 2020 and also you know doing my uh, visionary board and once I actually started my visionary board what came out was um, a real sense of having to or needing to and wanting to look after my physical emotional and mental well-being and one of the ways I wanted to do that was to spend a little bit more time in my garden because the last few years I haven't been able to spend as much time in my garden as I would have liked to have done and it's been a bit neglected and I'm no gardener I learned from my parents occasionally watch Gardener's World and occasionally listen to Gardener's Question Time my parents are avid listeners and watchers of those two programs and um, I sort of make it up as I go along so any keen gardener I suggest you turn off now because you'll be screaming at me going no you don't do it like that but you know I, w I went to some gardens to John Massey's garden um, which isn't too far from us excuse me but he's one of the top six gardens in the world and I heard John Massey saying to somebody that he's not a purist and what I took away from that is he allows things to grow in the place that they are and see what happens and I must admit I'm a very I'm very much like that that oh I don't know what that is uh, let's see what happens to it and if it isn't quite what I want well it's it gets pulled up or it could get moved or it's just left where it is so you know that's why I am in the gardening world and you know I've got these two tubs here that had other things growing in them that I then transferred into my garden hello my dogs are here and so I've taken out all the weeds put some extra new compost in the top and I'm going to plant some nigella and uh, Rebecca that came from my mum from her Gardener's World magazine so I'm you know making best use of what is being given to me and if it works it works if it doesn't work well that's absolutely fine but the point is that I've been out here in my garden in the sunshine with my dogs who are also enjoying the time out here with me and having a lot of play fighting and just being out in nature and looking after myself a little bit and doing what I want to do for a little bit and this is you know really important at the moment when we're in isolation because of the coronavirus and it really started to hit me yesterday because I got planned out exactly what I was going to do and I did all of it except go to the gym because of course all the gyms shut from Friday night didn't they and you know I, I sat there th I'm a resourceful person but I said what am I going to do what am I going to do um you know I can't go and do my gym um, and so this is the ideal substitute for the moment um, for doing that and just being outside. So, um, you know, what can you do? What can you do to help yourself? And, you know, being outside, you know, I talk a lot about being outside and being outside in nature. And I've got two dogs. So, you know, whatever isolation is going on, you know, my dogs are still going to get a walk. And whether you agree with that or not, that's entirely up to you. You know but my dogs need their walk i need my walk and it's just me being respectful to everybody else who is out there walking as well um so you know what can you do to um you know help yourself to manage you know this time at the moment you know everybody's calling it troubled times um, but it doesn't have to be so troubled. You can make it a little bit better for yourself by just finding something different to do. And I heard on the radio that actually, you know, people like Shakespeare wrote some of his best plays in the Black Plague. Artists like Rembrandt, Renoir, Titian, they painted some of their best paintings. And so, you know, just because we're isolated or trying to be a little bit more isolated it doesn't mean to say 
that you just sit back and do nothing you know um and it's about being a little bit more creative tapping into different things that um, are going on in the world you can still use amazon to get materials and things that that you need to be able to do um, whatever activities that you want to do and so you know we're actually in a good place where we have got that facility where we can use it use technology to help us carry on as normal as we can feel as if we are doing so i'm gonna get on i haven't got all the right stuff but what i have got to cover these tubs so that the my new seeds keep nice and warm a clear plastic lid from a square plastic box and i don't quite know where this came from but a glass oven door so i'm more to, to propagate my seeds so again it's about just being a little bit creative about you know what you can find to cover your seeds some seeds that i planted the other day i've got some double glazing over those and then the ones that i've got inside in my dining room i've got those covered with cling film so you know it's about making do with the best that you can find you know i've just demonstrated that you don't have to you know go out and buy the proper stuff however you do need some decent compost but i'm sure you can get that on amazon as well so uh on that note i'm going to love you and leave you i'm going to get on and plant my seeds and i'll speak to you sometime soon bye bye now <laughs>